Supper. Hey, everybody, uh, I'll tell you, tell you one channel, thing. There's no way that this is New Year's Last Supper. She probably has three nights. I'm sure there's more yet to go. Just the night for her or him or whoever these fucking freaks are again. Drag queens, transgender people, dancing with children. It helps me do what I do. It felt like a bride parade celebration. This is what they decided to put on for the Olympic Games. What the fuck are we talking about? And then add all that video to the Olympic opening ceremony for last night. Reference and, uh, book of Revelation, Revelation. Right. 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 I myself have better things to do. I was at the movies catching Deadpool versus Wolverine, or Deadpool and Wolverine. But lo and behold, I don't, I don't know. know. But, but that one may want to be a whole way to do that. They might buy that, 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 a big well, what the fuck drag moment. moment for anyone, anyone that tuned in the Olympic Games, games to be like, like yeah, yeah, what would it be like, like in 2024? Oh my god, this is, this is like, what the right hell, hell is going, is going on, right on right now? Needless to say, um, this, this is really all people, people are talking about, about. about. When, when it comes, um, comes to the Olympic ceremony of the Olympic Games. Despite some of the other old old displays that they had, this is the focus, and I don't think the Olympic ceremony should be the focus. This is the generosity that's been all on display in the entire world. Very much removed from the actual games. You know, you know, kind of, kind of, but I thought the formal moment they put on there. You're always going to have some more just right when you're talking about this. This is the young whale for a lot of people. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We should have put this video out there. I'll talk to you later. What could possibly go wrong? Well, if you guess they goof on Da Vinci's The Last Supper, but staged it with some fat ladies in Jesus' place and a bunch of trans and drag performers in the place of the apostles. That's a very specific, albeit completely accurate guess. Now, here we go. Here's an image. Winston Marshall over on X, the fall of Europe. Look at this image. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. Some of the comments, literally the every day we stray further from God's light meme encapsulated in a cursed image. It's not just Europe, it's the entire West. We have finally reached the last stage of the empire. I wonder if the prophet Muhammad will be mocked during the Olympic Games. That's right. See, what typically happens in these situations is they can mock Christianity. But if they mock Muhammad, oh, no, 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 can't do that. Christian faith mocked by the Olympics. Why? The new woke religion and all its glory. This is an absolute disgrace. I mean, this goes on and on. Jenna Ellis. In this scene from the Olympic opening ceremony, the famous painting of the Last Supper is recreated, but Jesus is replaced with an obese woman while queer and trans figures, including a child, depict her apostles. Over pagan and satanic symbolism. Now, I'm going to play this clip here. I'm not going to turn on the audio because I'll probably get hit with a copyright by NBC. But here's the video for all you to view. Now, this is, this is disgusting. This is not art. This is gross. And again, I'll ask, what if the Prophet Muhammad was in there? Um, some people actually like this. Unclench your pearls, Karen. That painting is an artist's interpretation of text written 1,500 years prior. It's not like Jesus and his pals posed while he painted it. It's France. Relax. So some people actually like this crap. Patrick Beck David over on X. The Olympics are officially for adults only. To those parents who plan on watching the opening with their kids just got a rude awakening. 
The opening is a spit in the face to every Muslim, Christian, Catholic, or Jew parent who does, who does their best to raise their kids with conservative values. I'm not surprised that the queer director, Thomas Jolly, mocked Christians with the Last Supper theme. He's capitalizing off of the platform given to him to gain popularity in front of a billion people, 10 times the Super Bowl audience. He won by promoting the LGBTQ agenda to kids around the world. What I'm curious about is who approved this? That's right. France has really fallen. France really has fallen. Patrick, you're too polite here. The Olympics is dead now. We saw the last one four years ago. Pillars of salt, a lot of them. Again, openly mocking our religion. Now, ALX, who is uh, Betty Johnson's producer, posted this. <laughs> I think this is funny, his, his comment. I thought the DNC convention was next month. Here we go. I mean, this is just crazy, folks. I myself, I'm not watching the Olympics. I can give two shits, pardon my French, about the Olympics. If you're going to openly mock Christianity, you're going to openly mock a religion. In the opening ceremonies, done. Not going to, not going to take part. Not going to do it. So what do you guys think about this? Comment down below. Um, I'm just sharing my opinion. Whether you agree with me or disagree. Tell me what you think. And again, thank you for stopping by, checking out my video. Please um, hit that like button, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And with that, I will see you guys later.